Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to design a diesel engine in automation and then export it into BMG and then actually turn it into a diesel engine in BMG and drive it as a diesel. Um, there's plenty of people that show you how to make an engine in automation that mimics the characteristics of a diesel. Uh, but if you import it into BMG, it's still going to be a gasoline engine in that game. Um, I'm going to show you how to actually modify the coding of the file and actually make it a diesel engine in BMG. So first, we actually need to design the engine. So we're just going to, you know, do that. Um, I'm going to blast through this as far as the actual designing. Um, simply put, to get an engine that mimics a diesel engine, um, you want to have relatively long stroke and relatively small bore, you know, for the given displacement. I'm going to make a two liter. Um, in 1987, because I'm going to put it in the 87 model year vehicle. So, close as we can. That's good. Uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to do uh, two valves per cylinder because it'll keep the power output low. Diesel engines typically have very low horsepower per liter. Um, two valves per cylinder will get us that result. And plus, a lot of diesel engines in this era had two valves per cylinder anyway. Uh, now, this stuff. That won't really affect the horsepower. It's just most engines use forged cranks and forged rods and cast pistons. That's just what I'm doing. I'm going to do balance shafts. All diesel engines use balance shafts, blah, blah, blah. Uh, red line. Now, this is the stuff that actually matters. Um, so you want a very, very, very low camshaft profile. The reason for that is diesel engines make their peak torque very low in the RPM range, usually below 3,000 3, RPM. Um, and in real life, actually, the lower the cam profile, which the camshaft, I will show you what a camshaft is. Camshaft is this thing. It is a spinning shaft that has these cam lobes on it that operate the valves. Um, cam profile is basically how aggressive those lobes are. The smaller those lobes are, usually in real life, this applies to real life, the least aggressive the camshaft is or the lower those cam lobes are, usually the lower in the torque, the lower in the rev range, it'll make peak torque. So low cam profile, you want to do low red line too, because most diesel engines, red lines are low. Most passenger car are usually about 5,000 RPM. Uh, I'm going to do a direct injection because, you know, that's what most diesels have. Exhaust. Now, I'm going to do a catalytic converter because I've noticed in BMG, if you don't have one, the exhaust is just obnoxiously loud. And plus, legally, most vehicles require one anyways, after you know, the 70s. Let's close that. All right. So, most, so I'm not doing, I'm doing naturally aspirated, which means no turbocharger. Um, most naturally aspirated diesel engines usually make about 30 horsepower per liter. So, or about mid-30s. So that would mean for a two liter engine, we would have about 70 horsepower max. So we have 70 horsepower basically. So that would be about 35 horsepower per liter, which is actually pretty on par with a naturally aspirated diesel engine. And you can see we make peak torque of 112 foot pounds way down at about 2,700 RPM. Um, I might be able to get that lower actually. Nah, we'll just keep it at that. I'm going to lower the valve springs though. That's just the stiffness of the valve springs, which in real life, too. The stiffer your valve springs, the more power from the engine and efficiency they parasite away from it because it takes more effort to open a stiffer spring. All right, I'm happy with that. You know, 72 horsepower, 113 pound feet, way down at 27. All right, so we're going to name it. Um, this is just for the sake of finding it in your own game. Just, it's not going to affect anything in BMG or Hollywood. Handles. Oh, I'm just going to do outside a diesel two liter. All right, I'm going to make that exhaust a little bit smaller. The smaller the exhaust, usually the quieter it is. Yeah, let's do it right there. All right, and so I'm going to put it in this car right here, my Alzetta in 1987. So I'm going to clone it. So cloning a vehicle basically lets you modify the clone without 
so this is a gasoline version. I'm making this a diesel. So I cloned it so I can make this a diesel, and it's not going to fake this one. So we're going to slap in the diesel engine in it. And uh, I catch myself talking really fast. So if I'm hard to understand, that is my bad. Uh, you got to do the right engine? Yes. Wait. Is this an LZ2 liter? Yes. All right. Now the draft train. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. Um, so, yeah, so that is a zero to 60 time of about 16 seconds, which for a diesel engine uh, 1987, that's actually pretty accurate. So we're going to leave that alone. Um, that's, that's actually kind of funny how slow diesel cars, even, even today, they're actually pretty slow. All right, enough rambling. Um, So, all right so this is the fun part where you actually start modifying the file so now we're going to go to export and then you want to make sure zip pack mod you want to make sure that box stays unchecked um depending on depending on what version of the game you have that might be checked all of them might be checked i have mine defaulted to where none of them are checked because in my experience it's not necessary um actually Just, uh, you know, for shits and giggles. I'm going to get rid of that. Whoops. Just to give it a little bit of exclus exclusivity, however you want to say that word. Exclusivity, we're going to make it a diesel badge. You know, Manufacturers like showing off any chance they get. Put that right there. Make it a little bit smaller. Don't want it to be bigger than the actual nameplate of the car. Otherwise, I would take away from uh, the importance of that. Of course, my badge. Come on. Insulting at large. Okay, all right. Sorry about that distraction. Um, hopefully, this doesn't affect the video too much. When people start bullshit like I did, usually they lose views, and the point doesn't get across. All right, everything's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to export, export, and so now we're actually going to open the folder after it gets done exporting. And now this is where the magic happens. We're going to open. And so now we're going to go to unpacked. So depending on your computer and your operating system, this will look a little, a little bit different. Um, but the folder names will be the same. So click on the one that says unpacked. And then you want to... So every car that you export the BMG will actually be in this list. Um, just for the sake of simplicity for this video, I deleted all of them. So I can find this one easier. So just find the vehicle that you made by file name. So I made mine a out of diesel. So, so that's the name of the file. We're going to open that. You're going to click on one that says vehicles. Click on the, the vehicle name. And so we have all this. So now we're going to find the folder that has the name of random numbers and letters, which is this one right here. Yours will be different. Every single one will be different. It's just randomly generated, um, but it will be the file that has random numbers and letters. We're going to click on that. And now we're going to find that file that says CAMSO fuel tank right there. All right. And so now we're going to go down, look for it says energy type. We're going to change that to diesel. So we're going to go to energy type, diesel. And now do not hit enter because if you hit enter, it'll actually mess up the name. So after you type it, just leave it. Don't hit enter, don't do anything. And then we're going to go to file and we're going to go to save. All right. 
get rid of that. And then now we're going to go back and now we're going to find the file that is named ENG underscore uh, random letters and numbers, which on this one, it will be right here. Now we're going to click on the one that says CAMSO engine, bunch of random numbers and letters. And so now we're going to change two things in this one. First one, we're going to change energy type again. Um, you can see this file has a bunch of random values in it. So the best way to find what you want is to hit control F and then type what you want. So we're going to do energy, enter, energy type gasoline. We want to make that diesel. So diesel. And then now we're actually going to change the exhaust sound. So to do that, so basically we want to make it sound like a diesel engine. So we're going to do sound, sound config, exhaust. Now we sample name is what we're going to change. So this random numbers and letters is default sound from automation. We're actually going to change it to a default BMNG sound. We're going to make it the diesel engine sound. So it will be I4D underscore exhaust. And I4D has to be in capitals and exhaust lowercase. So what that means basically is just a default BMG file names. Um, so that stands for inline four diesel exhaust. So if you made like an inline six, you would do, you would do I6D underscore exhaust. If you made um, like a diesel V8, for example, like you know the Ford Power Stroke or Chevy Duramax, you would do V8D underscore exhaust. But we made a four cylinder, so we are just going to keep it as I4D. All right, and now that is done. So now we're going to go to file. We're going to save it. And now we're going to get rid of that. We're going to close that. We're going to confirm that. We're going to go back. Exit out of this. And now we're going to open BeamNG and then see how it drives. Launch. Free roam. Let's just do this one because it's simple. Actually, all right. So now that's not our car. We want to get our car. So we're going to find, you know, it. And it should be right. here and um, it's not that's interesting why is it not here probably because I had it deactivated there we go okay all right so I don't have system audio because I can't find, for some reason, I can't get it to work. So hopefully you can hear it from this. See, that sounds like a diesel. That sound, kind of sounds like a Volkswagen, you know, the 19 TDI. And it accelerates <laughs> as slowly as a diesel. So I'm pretty happy with those results. Uh, you can actually, in that little um, file editor I showed you, you can actually modify the diesel particulate. Um, so you can actually make it um, blow black smoke like diesels did historically, you know, in the 80s and 90s. That was before all the emissions bullshit. Um, so diesel cars actually did smoke like freight trains back then. And you can actually mimic that. I never bother with it just because I don't care enough, honestly, personally. Shit, I didn't. <laughs> That's my bad. I didn't pay attention. Whoops. Oh, no. We'll fix that. Uh, let's just compare sounds. 
Um, what's a car that has a diesel? I think. Um, this one has a diesel. I think this one offers a diesel. I just want to compare sounds. Uh, diesel right there with a four cylinder turbo diesel. Sweet. Can't even hear it. <laughs> cool. Anyways, so yeah, that's how you do that. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much and uh, they didn't get the point across before I lost your interest. Um, again, you know, a lot of people made videos on how to mimic diesel engines, but I've never seen one that actually shows how to actually make it a diesel engine in BMG. And so that is how you turn your automation engine into actually a diesel. Uh, thanks for watching.